Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Disney Infinity Toy Box TV. I am Johnny V. And I'm Community Manager Allison. This week we are going to unveil the all new top five toy boxes of the week and share tons of Disney Infinity news, tips, tricks, and tutorials for you to sink your teeth in. You ready? Yeah! Yo, this week the top five was totally classic and really amazing. We challenge you guys to construct your best recreations of the Disney parks inside of Disney Infinity 2.0. And we know that by now some of you have become absolute pros at parks recreations, but this time with the power of the 2.0 toy box, you delivered some truly next level creations that just made our jaws drop. <laughs> Let's dive right in and enjoy the magic. <laughs> Let's get the top five off to a warm and breezy start with Disney Polynesian created by Jorge5506. Ohana means family and families race, and this toy box provides more fast-paced tropical fun than you could ever ask for. Do you spot any tiki birds around? Keep an eye out, you never know. And coming in next, we bring you Big Thunder Mountain created by King of the Tunas. Oh, this toy box is going to provide you with all the thrills and chills of one of the most intense Disney attractions around. You'll experience Big Thunder Mountain in an all new way as you zoom around a racetrack. Hold on tight and have a blast. Shifting into third place, we bring you Cars Land created by Diz Explorer 03. Race on down to Cars Land as you enjoy fun attractions and challenge friends on Radiator Springs Racers. This one also features the Luigi's Flying Tires attraction. Pretty cool stuff. And almost at the top, at number two, we bring you Animal Kingdom created by CC Runner 524. This is a very impressive recreation of Disney's Animal Kingdom. Relive attractions such as Expedition Everest, Cali River Rapids, Dinosaur, and much, much more. This one is full of variety and excellent design overall. Great job, CC Runner 524. And here we are at the top of the top with the number one toy box worldwide. We give you Disneyland Paris created by Erdaddy 3. There is intrigue afoot and something has happened in Disneyland Paris. A strange phenomenon moved some park areas and altered them. Help Mickey with his machine to visit some park areas including Main Street, Discoveryland, and Adventureland. You guys are going to love playing in the laser tag arena with your friends and riding a fully built space mountain among other surprises. Kudos to Daddy 3 for achieving some excellent level design with tons of detail. Thanks everyone for all of your excellent work. This has been another amazing top 5 countdown thanks to you. And now, we give you your next challenge, and this one's pretty unique. It's called the Pick a Powerness Challenge! This one puts an all new twist on the challenge format and shows you an all new way to get engaged with a Disney Infinity 2.0 experience. Hey, do you have a favorite power disc? Well, pick that puppy up and use it to put a unique stamp on this toy box that you submit for exciting results. You have dozens upon dozens of power discs to choose from, guys, and we just know that the results here are going to be totally amazing, right, Allison? That's right, so start diving in. Submissions are due by December 31st at noon Pacific time. Mm -hmm. So you have some extra time to work on them and make them super special. Use your time wisely. Okay guys, ready for another trivia question? Ooh, I'm ready with some trivia questions. All right, this is a fun one. How many power discs exist so far for Disney Infinity? Mm, now that's actually a really tough one, Allison, because some savvy Disney Infinity fans out there probably know about some unreleased discs, so... So we're talking about the ones that have been released for okay. Disney Infinity, the first installment, and Disney Infinity 2.0 edition. Okay, great. And so to give you guys a hint out there, during this episode, we're gonna do, uh, at some point, we're gonna let you know just how many it is. So make sure that you watch the entire episode so you can see when we might give you a hint about how many there are in total and write your response in the comments or on the Disney Infinity forums. Yo, Allison, I'm feeling pretty dull today. Why? What's up? Just not feeling sharp. Feels like I might need some tips and tricks, something that helps me be better at my toy boxes. Yeah, maybe you've lost your edge and you need to find it? Maybe I do need to find my 2.0 toy box edge! Hey, this is Quinn, a.k.a. Quinn Jitsu. I'm from the Toy Box Community Mentor Team, and this is the Toy Box 2.0 Edge. Here we talk about the features of the new toy box that we think are super cool. Today I'm going to take you through my Dizzy Town toy box, what it's all about, and how I use creative toys to make it a very special and punishing experience. With this toy box, I wanted to really explore how the weather vanes and remote controller toys could be used, and wanted to make a level that harkened back to the very difficult retro games I grew up with that required perseverance, quick reflexes, and learning from mistakes. When the player begins the level, a number of things happen. A friend generator spawns a townsperson. The townsperson spawns into a trigger area, which activates a target camera that is set to follow the triggering actor, in this case the townsperson, 
so that the camera will follow them wherever they go. In addition, when the townsperson appears in the friend generator, it activates four logic gates that are connected to four weather vanes. These weather vanes are mapped to the face buttons on the player's controller, thanks to the remote controller toy. So basically, the logic gates keep track of which weather vanes are turned on when certain buttons on the player's controller are pressed, which allows the player to move the townsperson up, down, left, or right as they navigate through obstacles. The logic is also set up so that when one weather vane is turned on, all other weather vanes are turned off, so the townsperson will only be pushed in one direction at a time. In each section of the level, each with its own color and terrain theme, there are numerous traps, each set up with its own trigger area and kill switch. I also have large trigger areas connected to the same kill switch that are stretched underneath each section of the level. If the player moves the townsperson into one of these trap trigger areas, or makes them fall off the terrain into one of the large trigger areas, the kill switch instantly destroys the townsperson and tells the friend generator to spawn a new townsperson back at the beginning of that section. When the player guides their townsperson to the end of each area, there is a whirlwind connected to a locator that will send the townsperson flying into the next section through a new trigger area. Here's the kicker. Going through this new trigger area will activate a new set of logic gates connected to the weather vanes and the remote controller, scrambling the player's directional controls of their townsperson to simulate that the whirlwind made them dizzy. The toy box is called Dizzy Town after all. I know, I'm evil. Each new section has its own set of trap trigger areas and kill switches, so that when a townsperson is defeated, they will regenerate on a friend generator in that section, basically giving the player checkpoints. To keep things interesting, I have the friend generators, the boom box, and the sky dome connected to randomizers, so you never know what townsperson, music track, or sky you'll get next. There's also a big funny finale for those players dedicated enough to make it through this difficult level. Do you have what it takes to become a Dizzy Town legend? This level was a lot of fun, and I hope it gives you some great ideas for creating your own masterpiece. This has been Toybox 2.0 Edge. Catch you later. Hey guys, welcome to Disney Infinity 2.0. Today I'm going to show you a holiday-inspired toy box and tell you a little bit about some of the great power discs you can get for your next toy box. With the help of Baymax, I created a wintry snow park challenge for you to explore and have fun in. In this challenge, Hop on the snowmobile and race across the frozen landscape and try to collect all the pastry collectibles in the fastest time possible. Some of them are hard to find, so keep a sharp eye out for them. In this challenge, you'll find some crazy jumps, a few lava hazards, and a fun icy stump park. One of the great things about Disney Infinity 2.0 is all the great power discs you can get for your toy box. By placing a power disc on the reader, I can drop in some fun vehicles like Phineas and Ferb's flying area rug or take a ride on Jack Skellington's reindeer. With the power disc, you can also change the terrain textures or bring in a new sky for your toy box. For my toy box, I used a power disc to change the terrain textures and trees to the frozen theme and change the sky to Peter Pan sky to give the environment a nice wintry feel. Have fun in this snow park challenge and good luck. Hey guys, today's tips and tricks for Disney Infinity 2.0 comes from the snow park challenge toy box. One of the great new features in Disney Infinity 2.0 is the breakable walls and blocks. These are a lot of fun to blow up, smash, or drive a vehicle through. Plus the breakable walls, you can attach creative toys to them. You can place a counter on them or effects to go off when they break. Try hiding collectibles behind some of these blocks for players to break. Or, place a few walls in your toy box worlds for players to crash through them in their vehicles. These are a great toy to add to any toy box, so have fun smashing! On Facebook, Melody L posted this awesome collection and said, Our girls received their birthday presents. More on the way for Christmas. They are playing right now and loving it. Happy birthday, girls! Who else has Disney Infinity 2.0 edition on their holiday wish list? And also on Facebook, it's an actual Baymax sandwich! Alex J says, Hero made a sandwich for Baymax. That's just genius! And over on Twitter, check out these superhero selfies from PlayStation Experience in Vegas earlier this month. We had a great time meeting everybody who came out to the event. Thanks for swinging by our booth! Also, look who Zero Coolshane on Instagram spotted. He says, found Spider-Man playing Disney Infinity at PlayStation Experience. He was playing as Spidey, of course. And finally, thumbs up if you picked up the new Guardians of the Galaxy Blu-ray or DVD. David on Instagram celebrated the release with this cool photo. 
Well, everyone, that is it for this week's episode, but we will be back next week with a brand new installment of Disney Infinity Toy Box TV. Be sure to start jamming on your Pick a Power Disc Challenge toy boxes and be sure to submit them by Wednesday, December 25th at noon Pacific Standard Time if you want to be considered as a top five toy box contender. And don't forget, Toy Box Summit happens every year. If you submit, you might actually be chosen to come and join us and party with us and play Disney Infinity, and that would be amazing. <laughs> All right, guys, <laughs> keep that in mind and have a great week. And remember, if you can dream it, you can do it. One hundred forty.